Hello, and welcome to This Month in Datadog, where we'll update you on our latest features, product announcements, events, and more. This episode, we're spotlighting a trio of new cloud security management updates that help dev, ops, and security teams better secure their cloud infrastructure. We're also covering a redesign of our resource catalog, a centralized view of your agents and their configurations, and a low-code product to create apps that help you better manage your tech stack. But before we get to those, we have our 2023 container report and our inaugural cloud security report to share with you. Our 10 insights on real-world container use is now live. Drawing on data for more than 2.4 billion containers across tens of thousands of Datadog customers, our 2023 report sheds lights on how teams are using containers to build next-generation apps, enhance developer productivity, and optimize costs. Among our findings is a 58% year-over-year increase in the compute time of containerized GPU-based instances, which are being used to train LLMs and process large data sets. Next is our inaugural State of Cloud Security Report. A focus of our analysis was to better understand how organizations approach and mitigate common risks that often lead to public cloud security incidents. Public storage buckets, for example, are a well-understood source of data leaks. That's why more organizations are taking advantage of mechanisms to proactively block public access to their cloud storage. On AWS, we saw that nearly 75% of S3 buckets are covered by a public S3 access block, up from just 50% a year prior. Both the Cloud Security Report and the Container Report are live on our blog. We'll also include links in our show notes. And now, on with the show. First up is a redesign of our resource catalog. Resource Catalog offers teams a high-level overview of their hosts and resources together in a unified interface. Previously, getting resources to appear in the catalog meant first enabling cloud security management. We're excited to share that the Resource Catalog is now standalone functionality on Datadog's platform. For the first time, you can access the catalog from Datadog's main navigation bar, and you can enable resource crawling independently of CSM meaning anyone can now take advantage of the catalog. The redesigned resource catalog is currently available in public beta. Next is fleet automation. Managing a large and growing fleet of observability components can challenge teams to efficiently ensure each and every component is properly configured. Fleet automation offers a centralized view of your Datadog agents and conveniently surfaces details like their version alongside the integrations and services running on them. On top of that, fleet automation allows teams to easily pull up each agent's configuration right in the Datadog UI. And that just scratches the surface of this new feature. See for yourself what fleet automation can do for you by checking out the public beta. And finally, we're excited to share with you another brand new product, Datadog App Builder. So often when teams create one-off scripts or internal tools, these useful solutions can be difficult to share with teammates and unintuitive for others to implement. App Builder is a low-code product that helps engineers easily create apps and consoles within Datadog for managing their tech stack. This new product equips engineers with pre-built components, native integrations, and drag-and-drop functionality so they can build internal tools for remediating issues without having to write a ton of code. And the apps engineers build can be embedded and used inside Datadog's dashboards enabling you to take action where you get your data insights. App Builder is currently available in private beta, which you can join by checking out the link in our show notes. That was just a sneak peek of the many features we released this month. For a full list, view the link shown. This month, we're putting the spotlight on a trio of updates for cloud security management. Here's Calvin to tell you more. Thanks, Jeremy. Hi, I'm Calvin, and I'm a product manager at Datadog. Today, most organizations are growing their cloud infrastructure in order to keep up with the fast pace of business. As their cloud footprint expands, so too does the effort it takes to secure it. And it's often a painstaking exercise between dev, 
ops, and security teams to sift through thousands of findings, asking if it's the best use of their time. Security Inbox automatically correlates the misconfigurations, threats, identity risks, and vulnerabilities in your infrastructure, helping you to prioritize issues and to better understand whether to focus on deployment or remediation. It does so by leveraging Datadog's existing context, so you don't need to swivel chairs between tools and teams and disrupt your daily work process. When Security Inbox detects an issue worth flagging in your environment, it adds it to the top of your homepage's inbox, where you can easily pivot directly into the findings and impacted resources. Security issues are further covered by our newest capabilities, infrastructure entitlement management and infrastructure vulnerability management. With entitlement management, teams are able to proactively detect and remediate IAM risks, such as over-permission entities, privilege escalation risks, and resources with large blast radiuses. Entitlement management works by leveraging your environment's existing IAM configuration and resource usage, and mapping it to the latest industry best practices and research from our internal security team. Vulnerability management accelerates traditional vulnerability scanning and remediation by layering onto the original CVSS score deeper contextual factors, like if it's in production, or if an exploit is available. You're also able to group vulnerabilities by type, resource, and team for easier identification and faster fixes. All three of these updates are now generally available and can be found by visiting the Cloud Security Management product. And you can learn more about them by checking out the links in the show notes. Back to you, Jeremy. Thanks, Kelvin. And that wraps up today's episode. As 2023 comes to a close, we'd like to wish everyone a happy holiday. I'm already looking forward to what's in store next year. If you have a question, comment, or suggestion for a future episode, comment below or email us. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel for future episodes of This Month in Datadog. See you next year.